Karo. Hi guys. There's another way, yeah. Uh, you can find it. You can find it. You can You Salimia what to do? Salimia. Hi, The 
summer days Oh, got me feeling dizzy from the summer haze Cause we got the sunshine by the poolside Such a fun time living for the hot life and I can explain why so in the past ah, I'm still in the office that's why like um, in the past few weeks of uh, the video you the clips that you've already seen they were I, I shot them at uh, three weeks ago three weeks ago probably because I've not had a video for the past three weeks and the reason is because um, immediately after I came from my friend's house, that was um, it was on a Sunday. The clip that you've already seen, I I went back home and some things happened to me, and um, things that I cannot even talk about right now in this video in public right now. But I'll talk about them uh, in the future, maybe probably. But. Uh, so I went back home and things happened and I went into a mini depression or kind of mental breakdown or something. I don't know how people call it. Like it's just that mini depression that you get into. And I didn't realize it was serious until I, start, I stopped being productive, being unbothered, being interested in things that I used to call dearly for me. Not feeling the need to show up into the things that I love to do, including this YouTube channel, uh, making videos for you guys. And I really, I was really going through a lot. Um, and before I knew it, I had stopped, like, I had stopped everything. And the only thing that I did was just go to work, smile, <laughs> show up, and then go back home and, and lock myself. In my house i know that felt so deep like in it that's 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 what happened at first i didn't know what that was I, at first i thought like ah you let to funk like you know funk and then you'll get back on your feet and then one week two weeks and i am not okay and i know that i'm not alone so many people go through this but i i don't know if um people really talk about how to get out of such a mental breakdown uh, moment especially when it has prolonged to a week two weeks three weeks and i i remember one time i called someone and i told them and I explained to them one of my friends and I explained to them about that and um in fact like this video i wanted to do a voiceover then i was like oh, let me just show up let me just show up because i feel much better today and i'm speaking i'm speaking from a place of I am taking a day at a time so I called someone we prayed about it and um, I, I wouldn't want to say that I did feel a difference but you know there's the things that happen to us and you think you're stronger until you, you think you're a strong person until you don't have the energy and it gets worse when you can't even take care of yourself can you imagine like taking care of yourself now all of a sudden feels like this huge task that you have to do 
the normal basic things that you would do without you know without even thinking about them all of a sudden they feel like a huge task like okay accomplish when you do it when i cook for myself oh my god i've done so much i've done so much when i when i clear something at the sink in my kitchen it's, it's a huge task and i think i think that um we take for granted the fact that we are active and you're able to do you have the strength to do even the basic things but until you get to any depression you realize oh my god it's a privilege to be able to take care of myself to be able to take myself to work to be able to show up in the things that i love to do and all those things so um that was me like uh, i felt like i needed to explain this because maybe probably some, there's someone who's going through some stuff and they just want to uh, maybe identify with someone and I'm here to let you know that it's gonna be okay it's gonna be all right depression is is a rebuke to Jesus name first of all and uh, we need to talk about how to get out of that because I, f- I feel like for me I started you know first of all it's calling people second of all like okay first is prayer like don't let that uh, distance you from from God and that don't, don't do not let that uh, make you no, do not let that affect your relationship with God. Second, like, keep your close friends, talk to them, talk to someone, and also be able to be, to, to take a little time. No pressure, just keep taking a step forward. Push harder, and I think um, it's just... It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better, and I feel like God. There's a certain comfort that God gives you when you rely on Him, and when you get vulnerable with Him, you let Him know the things that you're going through. You let Him know what you, your situation is. You know, like He understands, and He'll give you the peace and the comfort that you need. I need to go, and I will send out this video because ah, I'm still at work. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel. Let me know your thoughts. Have you ever been in a mental breakdown and how did you deal with that? What happened? Am I, you know, someone close to you that went through that and they, they are better now? Or if they are not, we're gonna, we can even pray together. Just let me know in the comment section. But, uh, yeah, how how... Let's help each other. Let's talk about this. Depression is uh, real and mental breakdown is a thing that should not be undermined. Okay? So, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Subscribe to this channel. Um, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.